Welcome to this OSGRI.com screencast tutorial on Water City sound editing. How to do sound editing in Linux. This is the first time I've opened Water City in uh, this operating system and it's asking what language to use. So I'll just press OK for English. Now this pl this is a great open source program. It's available for Windows as well as Linux, okay, and as you can see what it can do there, it can um, play existing audio files, which isn't really it's a big deal. It can record your voice, or uh, like a tape, or um, you know, like a record, right? You can edit your sounds, you can edit things, and you can open and save, you can export to MP3, and then burn it to a CD or something, but you can do a lot of, uh, sort of, you can also manipulate things, like you can change the pitch and do all these kind of things, so I'll just show you, I wonder if the computer will let me do a recording while I'm doing another recording, so let's try that. Record, testing, one, two, three, alright, let's stop that, alright, play it back. It did work, but um, I'll just put the, this microphone right next to that one so you can hear. So then we could do all sorts of things with that with that track, right? We could just select some of it and then we can do effects. Like here, so. uh, for example, what should we try? We could put an echo on it. Alright. And time delay. Alright, that's fine. Let's play it now. So there it had an echo, but there was a bit of distortion. And so you can do all sorts of things. You can actually, tr you know, normalize it. And that tries to help get rid of the distortion. Let's play it now. Oh. So as you can see, that was probably not a great demonstration of, of its abilities. Let's do another one. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> and play that back. So, and that sounded good. And you know, then you could do some sort of effect like. Let's make me sound really high pitched. Um, so put that up a bit. I wonder what that would be like now. Yeah. Okay, let's play that back. And if you heard that, I'll do it again for you. There you go. See, so it's a pretty. Oops. <laughs> It's a pretty cool little sound editing program. Um, you know, I've tried to sing songs in here and things like that before, and I, I use this for my um, screencast tutorials that I make all the time. Um, so, you know, it's got a whole bunch of things you can do. You can analyze and, you know, generate and do all these cool things. And then um, if you want to export it, like you can save your project here. Then to you need to export this option here in order to make it like an MP3, right? Um, so yeah, so you need to export. I'll show you that. You just go File up here, Export, and then OK. All right, and then now that's gonna here's the file format you can choose down there. Oops. down and see you should see there file formats so you can choose mp3 files or or something else um, you know it's got the open source formats in there and just test that and save down here All right okay and it's done straight away and then you'll be able to just find that file in your home folder usually so there it is test mp3 there it was, the tiny little sound bite. So that's Auto City. Um, you can get, like, uh, you can download it yourself from their website, or you can get it through the package management programs of uh, 
the Linux package management programs. Right? And if you're on Windows, um, you can get it for Windows. FileHippo.com has it. Um, oh, I wonder what this benchmark does. Let's try that out. Um, please visit my website osgui.com and register on there and, and help me build the community. Please subscribe to my YouTube videos and give generous ratings to them. And um, you, if you add me as a friend, I'll accept, of course, and stuff like that. So here you could save your project, but I don't want to do that. All right. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. All the best. Take care.